fish on. Look at that surly. You're hooked up. First pitch of the day. Look at that guy. Huh? So this is what we're gonna talk about today. All right guys, there we go. First cast of the day. Gotta love that. So as we work through our fall progression of lures, it would not be a fall walleye video without talking about Jerk Meadow Jr. Not a big fish there. But today we're gonna talk about how you fish that, where you fish that, and uh, we'll incorporate some side imaging stuff, um, a whole bunch of different ways to switch up your presentation to be effective. Basically with plastics, and one of my absolute favorite plastics, the Kalen's Jerk Meadow Jr. all fall along. sign how the day is gonna go we will absolutely take it so we got water temps that are getting down there and uh, I want to kind of get this video out before the rest of the fall hits if you live south of here falls not totally getting crazy yet and uh, that bait is an absolute key player all fall so there's a nice walleye about an 18 inch Hayward area walleye two casts in a row we'll take that next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in a little bit about how you work this bait all fall long, all the way kind of from summer, because this is really a bait that we fish all fall. So we're gonna go into basically how you can fish this bait, um, you know, from the summer period all the way down to the water. It's just brutally cold at the end of the season. All right guys, so how do you fish the jerk minnow this time of year? Well, we'll kind of start with where summer was, right? So basically I'm throwing it out there. And like any jig, I wanna go all the way down to bottom first fishing a quarter ounce right now and we'll kind of talk about the depths you'd use what weight and all that stuff so I'm on bottom in the summer I'm doing a lot of real hard snapping like this let it hit bottom real hard snapping like this this time of year I tone it back a little bit I do kind of just a small pop like that let it hit bottom small pop like that let it hit bottom I'm, a couple things are happening the baits not getting quite quite as jumpy when I'm uh, doing those smaller pops like you can see there it's also not coming as far off bottom. Generally in the fall, these fish lock down quite a bit more to bottom. And uh, by not bringing the bait that far up, it gives those fish, uh, it keeps it right in the zone a lot more. You know, in the summer, these fish are willing to kind of roam around the water column a lot more and, uh, you know, come up to hit a bait. It certainly likes the fish. But uh, this time of year, like I said, we're trying to keep that bait a lot closer to bottom. And I'll kind of show you it again there. I was not fully anticipating on catching a fish right there, uh, but we'll take it when it works out like that on camera. So, like I said, we're getting it out there. And this time of year, we got water temps in that mid 50 degree range. So we're not uh, doing a crazy big pop, but we're in the, really when the water gets super cold, and I do this a lot early in the spring in Green Bay or up here when I got water temps, even in the 30 degree range, I'll take that bait and I'm just kind of skipping it like this on bottom. Now your bites happen a lot different when you're doing this because uh, you're not getting the bait up real hard. You're not gonna feel a real big jig bite a lot of times, but when you're just kind of popping the bait and working along bottom like this, most of the time what happens is you're just gonna, all of a sudden your rod's gonna start loading up and the fish is gonna start running away from you. Otherwise on some big fish, um, a lot of times what'll happen is all of a sudden your line's just gonna go slack and that fish will be hunting the bait down and pushing it at you. So, you know, when the water gets real cold, I'm doing a lot more like this, this kind of mid fall range. I'm getting a little bit snappier like this. And uh, middle of the summer when I'm fishing this bait, I'm really yanking on it and ripping it and getting that bait to shoot all over all, all over the place. So um, you can really fish this bait at any water temp. It's one of the most versatile plastics I've ever fished. It's 
the perfect minnow profile. It's got just enough action in that tail uh, to kind of get the bait to move around a little bit. Um, and it's a minnow profile, so it works really all year long. Should we go find some more? Should we go find some more fish? Huh? Let's go. Come on. about that surly huh i'll give you guys a look on this one awesome fall hayward area walleye look at that one fat big jerk minnow walleye such a fun way to fish they absolutely throttle he's got all weird messed up tail but phenomenal phenomenal fall fish we'll get him back and uh get back after it that is too much fun All right guys, so what are we looking for structure-wise this time of year, or today, I guess, when I'm doing this pop jig bite? You know, I filmed something on a jig and minnow um, probably about a week ago now, and we're fishing a lot of those same locations, a lot of these shallow weed edges, shallow milfoil clusters, stuff like that. Um, we're fishing a very, very clear lake today, and uh, there's a ton of visibility, so I'm trying to stay off those pods of fish quite a ways, but I'm hitting these, these fish with side imaging. So basically what I have is a lot of sand, that butts up to these weed edges so I can read really good around the weed edge. Now what I'm looking for is screenshots that look something like this right here, and you can see the fish. Something like this right here where you can see some fish, um, or something like this here. And when I see stuff like this, and I'm dropping a waypoint on it, or if I know what it is, if I'm in a bigger wind like this, I wanna hold it straight behind me. But one thing I try to do a lot of times is I try to line that spot up with the back of the boat. So, and what that does, is naturally when I'm spotlight like this, I'm gonna be swinging a little bit in the wind. And uh, that back of the boat is gonna be kind of be moving a little bit. So if I line those fish up about a cast length away from me off my left side, which is normally the side I like to fish off, as my boat kind of swings, I can see if that school is still there or if they're moving around a little bit to kind of aim my cast at them. So um, it's kind of a cool way, you know, a lot of times you can use spot lock to basically follow those fish around as you're fishing. And that's a good tip, whether you're slip bobber fishing, jig fishing, whatever you're doing, it's extremely useful to do that. So, and uh, similar to that, a lot of times I'll use that to see how far off I am off the weed. So if my side imaging is set at 70 feet, um, and I'm seeing something like this, you know, I don't, I know that I don't have to cast very far um, or something like that. So a lot of times you can use side imaging not only to find the fish, but to more effectively fish for the fish on that spot. So uh, this is basically what we're looking at. The shallow water weed bite applies to a lot of lakes that I fish and uh, it's just a deadly way to fish all fall. Fish on. <laughs> I think we're on some better ones now. This feels like another hefty one. There's actually a little bit of rock mixed in on this weed patch. A lot of times if you can find that kind of one unique spot, you can find some better fish. We're also surrounded by really deep water, which always helps. And this is... Oh yeah, look at that thing. Come here, buddy. Surly, we need the net. We need the net, Surly. Too much fun. That is another absolute stud. We'll give you guys a look. There it is. Another awesome, about 22, 23 inch Hayward area walleye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully this is another highly informational video. We're gonna get this one back real quick. There he goes, back to his little mill foil edge. But thank you guys for watching. You know, drop some comments on what else you guys want to see. I am honestly off to film another thing today. If you guys have not yet, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned. We've got a ton more content on the way. <laughs>